of what we did and why. Um, basically, this is like a self-watering container on a massive scale. The wood is going to absorb a lot of water. Um, I found a piece of a branch two, uh, two feet down when we were digging, for some reason way down there, and it just squeezed water out, squirted at me when I broke it. Um, so we, we sort of ran out of the poplar, started stacking in some maple, and it's a great way to get rid of, of brush, anything that you can get to lay down. A lot of times people do these beds without digging the hole first, but we dug out our garden bed, and uh, there's a clay under here that's going to be slow to let water sink through it. Um, now, just to review, it's that the materials that go together with the water that's going to accumulate in here, we had some, we had some coffee grounds, some garbage, some uh, lawn clippings, very nitrogenous stuff. Um, throw that in there, and you don't, you don't have to, but we had it. Um, we did some rock dust and some limestone for calcium, uh, limestone for calcium, rock dust for trace minerals. And um, we're going to now take out the first dirt that's going to go on top is going to come out of what will become a mulch path. So we'll dig some more along the sides. And the way this bed is situated, the water is going to run off the landscape and into the bed and it's going to soak all this wood and help it decompose. So that's, in a word, that's hugel culture. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thank you.